Hi, everyone. Today is November 18, 2020, Wednesday. I'll give you some recap of yesterday and what things you know before the bell and earnings, uh, some of the earnings. After Amazon launched its own pharmacy business, Sirius Health and Walgreens Boost Alliance saw their stock fell dramatically. Merck, Pfizer, and Abivi got a boost on Tuesday, which is yesterday, after quarterly filing showed that Warren Buffett of Berkshire Hathaway bought billions of dollars worth of shares in the pharmaceutical companies. Tesla jumped on Tuesday after being invited to S&P 500 index. Overall, the Dow Industrials fell 167.09 points, uh, which is 0.3% at 2973.35, while the S&P 500 moved down 17.38 points, which is 0.1%, last seen at 3609.53. The last tech composite slipped 24.79 points to 11899.34. The latest retail sales report was 0.3%, which was much smaller than expected, uh, which is around 0.5%. Coronavirus cases remain as a concern. Ohio announced it will be instituting a statewide curfew. Maryland is requiring all bars and restaurants to close to in-person travel by 10 p.m. They joined Chicago in adding the latest round of restrictions, and more cities and states are likely to follow suit as cases continue to climb. Biden has stated that he would like the Congress to pass $2.4 trillion bill that he talked about before the election, and also Trump has talked about it as well on the Twitter on Monday, or uh, last Friday, that he supported to also uh, want to push uh, a big stimulus. However, negotiations stopped between Democrat and Republican due to the same difference regarding the state aim and amount of unemployment insurance benefits. Despite the airline stock has surged due to hopes of vaccine, it soon will face a different challenge. About a year ago, the United States imposed tariffs on 7.5 billion on Airbus jet made in France, which received approval from the World Trade Organization on the basis that Airbus jet received significant state subsidies. Just this week, the European Union retaliated, imposing 3.99 billion tariffs on Boeing jets made in the U.S. The Tiffer tariffs will no doubt raise the price of plane for airline and other buyers. According to the National Association of Realtors, nearly 25% of home buyers over the summer pay at least half a million, which is up from 14% in previous nine months. Well, that's probably not the case in Houston or Oklahoma, but you know, but that's again it's average. A strong housing demand for millenniums, but uh, the question though is, is it gonna last? And then if you look at last month, the uh, housing report is actually the number, the figures are built. Uh, it's, already go, it's already gone down lower. Well, which typically on the fourth quarter, I guess it's a little slowing down. U.S. shares up on all three major indices. U.K. CPI at 0.7%, slightly better than the forecast. U.S. building permit is 1.545 million, which is lower than consensus 1.6 million. Earnings include... Uh, NVDA, Target, and Lowe's. So those will be, you know, big companies that can watch for, which include retail, uh, construction, kind of, and also the uh, semiconductor business. On the data docket, monthly housing stock and weekly EIA or inventory figures are coming up. If you look at the couple, which the housing piece already cover. If you look at a couple days ago, fund manager and research analysts will tell you the market is bullish, and yesterday was a dip. And P market for today, early of the day was negative, and now it was it's turned to positive. So why not? I still believe the market is bullish. Um, so I still not hundred percent sure about that. I know that next year everybody will cherish and think with a new Biden administration, things will be great. But um, it may not be at the beginning, but definitely later of a year. But um, you know, in December after the you know, figures on Black Friday, we'll see if it is going to be still great. And some of the uh, gainers in P market, Boeing rose 5.86%, 222.36. Kaiser rose 18.62.11.72. Native Bay Group stock mover 15.34. Um, Wave 
YT Holding rose 13.3%. Phoenix Tree Holding DNK rose 35.3% to 318. If you like uh, what I just said on my video, please subscribe if you've not already done so and follow me. Thank you. Have a nice day.